tempered or heat strengthened glass is four or five times more impact resistant than regular glass. And it's safer because it breaks into harmless popcorn fragments. But tempered glass is also more expensive than annealed, so is it worth the cost? Discover the pros and cons of tempering and find out if your glass tabletop should be tempered in this informative video. Hi, this is John again from Artistry and Glass, today explaining the pros and cons of tempered glass for tabletop. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more informative glass videos. Modern architectural glass is made by floating a ribbon of liquid glass on a bed of molten tin to form a continuous, perfectly flat sheet with a uniform thickness. This molten sheet is cooled slowly to create the household product called annealed glass. Our annealed glass has a disadvantage that when it breaks, it forms very sharp and dangerous shards that can be life-threatening. For this reason, a process called tempering has been invented to make glass more impact resistant and also much safer. This video clip shows our destroying glass deliberately busting a piece of tempered glass that's sandwiched between two sheets of annealed glass to provide a decorative effect. The corner of the tempered glass is struck with a sharp steel chisel and the exploded popcorn fragments are held in place by a bead of clear silicone applied to the edges. Now tempered glass is identical in appearance to annealed glass has the same color, translucence, reflectance, and hardness, but it is slightly more expensive. To decide if your glass tabletop should be tempered, first let's find out about the benefits of tempered glass. Now tempered glass is stronger, that is more impact resistant than annealed glass. It's very hard to break, even when struck with a hammer. Secondly, tempered glass is safer because it breaks into harmless fragments like popcorn rather than dangerous shards. This is a vital advantage for shower enclosures and patio doors where building occupants are in close proximity to the glass. Thirdly, tempered glass is heat resistant. If you put a hot saucepan down without a placemat, annealed glass is very likely to crack. In contrast, Tempered glass is heat resistant. That's why it's used for backsplashes behind kitchen ranges and for the windows and ovens. So if the cook in your household likes to place hot skillets on the tabletop, choose tempered glass for safety. Should your tabletop be tempered? Now the decision to order annealed or tempered glass is very important from the point of view of safety. Just a reminder, we cannot be responsible for the consequences of any information given in this video. Broken glass can be life-threatening. Decide whether to temper or not, we need to discuss the concept of risk in the glass business. Engineers define risk as the probability of failure times the consequences of the failure. Now here we see an example of very high consequence. Famous Skydeck on the Willis Tower in Chicago. This glass platform is 1,353 feet above ground level, so it is the epitome of high risk in the architectural glass business. Obviously, the consequences for the occupants of this sky deck will be catastrophic, so the risk of failure must be reduced to the absolute minimum by engineering the deck out of unbreakable laminated and tempered glass. Now let's consider a risk assessment for glass tabletops. With glass tops, the risk is less catastrophic than a collapsed sky deck, but it can be no less deadly. For example, consider what happened to a University of Arizona student on one fateful night in Tucson. According to the student's father, this reckless undergraduate got drunk in his dorm room and performed an exuberant dance on top of his coffee table. The annealed tabletop broke and as the student fell, he was impaled by a shard of glass that entered through his back and punctured his lung. Though so although accidents are rare, they can be very serious or even fateful. Caution is advisable. 
Now we're going to look at the risk profiles for each of three main tabletop types. These are patio tabletops, protective glass tabletops, and freestanding or heavy glass top. Now patio tabletops are normally only 3 16 of an inch thick. This is to keep the weight down on flimsy aluminum frames. So if they were made of annealed glass, they would be very likely to break, not only because of the thinness of the glass, but because of its vulnerable outdoor location. In high winds, a patio table can act like a sail and go flying onto the concrete floor. Also, inebriated homeowners often forget to remove the umbrella, contributing to wind-related breakage. Finally, Kids and teenagers playing games around the pool can contribute to the risk. This high risk means that patio tabletops should always be tempered. This high risk is accompanied by very serious conse potential consequences with shards of broken glass producing serious cuts that could end up in the emergency department. Second category of tabletops Protective tops are the ones that lie on flat tables to protect the wooden finish. These are normally made from a quarter of an inch thick annealed glass, which is rather unlikely to get broken in a typical residential setting. The most likely way to bust a piece of annealed glass is by impact with a hard object, and this is unlikely in a peaceful household without domestic violence. The second possible way to crack a protective top is by thermal stress. That is when someone places a very hot saucepan directly on the glass without a placemat or trivet. Finally, there's a possibility of breakage while moving the glass for cleaning or preparing for a holiday part. Now remembering that risk is the probability of failure times the consequences of failure, we see that the probability of failure is moderate to low and the consequences are also rather low because cracked glass will very likely remain in place on the flat wooden table. So the recommendation for protective tops is some need to be tempered and some do not. Consider each on a case-by-case -case basis. Exceptions are if you are a cook and you like to place hot saucepans on the glass, you should use tempered glass. Exception two, Protective glass needs to be tempered if you have a desktop with holes for electrical outlets and an irregular shape with notches and inside cups. Tempered glass makes the glass much stronger and is highly recommended. Exception three would be in the case of a commercial setting where the consequences of failure increase substantially because of your responsibility to customer saving, safety and insurance liability. A temper glass when it's in a commercial setting. Heavy glass tabletops made from three quarters, half or three eighth inch thick glass are intrinsically so strong that they are very unlikely to break in normal interior use. However, be aware that it is possible to chip the edge or to scratch the surface of heavy glass. So take care, these defects are really hard to fix. Exceptions would be if your heavy glass is used in a commercial setting, tempering is advisable because of customer liability issues. Also, if your heavy glass is situated outdoors on a concrete or tile patio, tempering is once again advisable. The bottom line summary for glass tabletops is as follows. Patio tabletops should always be tempered. Protective glass tops, that is glass lying on a flat wooden table, may or may not need to be tempered. Heavy glass tops, that means 3 8 half inch or 3 quarter inch glass, generally do not need to be tempered. Now remember, always consult a professional if you are in any doubt about tempered glass. Tucson customers can call Artistry and Glass for expert advice on glass tabletops in Tucson since 1986.